hey guys welcome back in this video we'll see how to create chips chips is an interesting design element and there are different types of chips and this particular chip is used in YouTube app basically mobile app where it is used to categorize different videos different types of videos so let's clear this off and we'll build a simple YouTube chip and then we'll add a couple of chips and make it look like what we saw before so let's get started so first we'll create a simple chip and then we'll make it a reusable component which we can use later to create multiple chips without duplicating the code so, so I'm creating a simple view with uh, specified width and height let's give some border radius so that we'll have a curved edges and here I have given border radius as 15 ok that's looking good so now so we want a circle in the left side so we'll have one more style for the circle element and let's make it red for the visibility so let's have both width and height as same so that it will look like circle now we want a text element and I've already imported text element so let's see how it looks okay it's coming below that's because flex direction is column by default let's change it now we want to position the text in the center so let's style the text and we'll put text align as center and see how it looks so you still don't see text move to the center that's because we have to change the parent style and tell to position all the elements in the center so we'll provide align items as center we still see the text is not in the center that's because it's not occupying the entire space so we'll provide flex equal to one okay that fixed it so now you can see a little it's stretching a little outside so let's fix it so we'll have a margin and see let's see okay that got fixed so now now let's add an image to the circular in the circular position so instead of image you can also have a letter or whatever icon or whatever you want so here let's have an image and I have already put a couple of images in my assets folder so I'm just using them um, okay I've not imported the image component the image is kind of outside that's because of the width and height is by default taken from the, the the image itself from the asset folder so let's provide a specific width and height to fix that and all I will also provide the border radius just to be precise now will make it a reusable component so what I'll do is I'll create a file then I'll move the code to that file so I'll quickly import the components create a class I'll give YT chips YouTube chip I'll just copy the code and I'll just paste it here so we created a reusable component quickly now let's import it and add it in our 
main index dot ios dot js and basically we should not have any changes it should look like before um, but we have some errors okay that's because of the reference since we moved the code it's the path is not correct so i quickly fix it and later on we should be passing this as a prop but for now this should do okay so now let's get the text as well as image as a prop so now i'll just make the changes so i'm accessing the text and image from the prop and i'll pass that here whatever whatever i receive from the prop so let's pass those items as prop and you can also see that i have passed the image path along with the require and the common mistake is to pass without the require so i'll just change the hello to sports and you see the the S is going down so that's because of the the style we have and fixed width so I'll remove the width but I see it's kind of X stretching full width of the window so we fixed it by removing the flex in the text component so we got the chip so now let's change the background color so that looks good so now Let's add a couple more chips. So it's simple, you just have to copy it and pass different parameters as prop and everything else will be taken care. And okay, the path parameter is wrong. Okay, we see the chips are placed one below the other. So we'll enclose these chips inside another view and we'll make these elements to be placed one next to each other by customizing and providing flex direction equal to row so now you should see the chips to be placed one next to each other and let's add some margin between these elements so i'll go to youtube white uh, chip i'll add some margin to parent view okay now now let's make the, the container of the chips to occupy the entire width um, but okay it's flexing in the wrong direction so what I'll do is I'll add a background color to see what's happening so, Okay, now I know what to be done. I think I just have to add Halen itself and stretch it in the width direction. So now let's add a couple more chips. I'll make use of the same images, but let's change the label. And we'll see how it looks. It looks good except that one of the chip is going off the out of the screen to fix that what I'll do is I'll pass a prop called flex wrap so which tells the view to place the elements if the view element is going outside the boundary so that's it guys as you have seen it's very easy to create chips in react native and I hope you have enjoyed the video I'll try to get more tutorials but till next time, have fun coding and thanks for watching.